Hello. Just looking out the window. Which gives me an idea for a sketch. Let's get started. It can be that simple to come up with an idea for a sketch. Looking out the window, maybe you see something out the window, or in my case, the window itself was an inspiration for this drawing. Other places you can get ideas from are your experiences and memories, and also your knowledge. Once you have a starting point for drawing, you begin working with that idea to see if you can make it more interesting. So I started with the idea of a window, an open window with some curtains. And I thought, well, what could be happening with that window? Something could be flying out of it. Now the obvious thing there would be a bird, but I thought, what if it was a fairy or angel flying out of that window? And then where did the fairy or the angel come from? I decided to have the fairy angel emerge from a banana peel. Now I've got an idea that I'm excited about. But again, this idea didn't come from nowhere. It came from my experiences and memories. For example, I used to eat a banana every day at lunch. Now I've switched to apples since it's fall and they're in season, but the banana idea was influenced by my past experiences. Now the idea of the angel or fairy emerging from the banana, that was uh, inspired by my knowledge. In school, I learned about metamorphosis, how butterflies and flying creatures emerge from a cocoon. So the more knowledge you have, the more creative you can be. And your ideas don't have to come to you all at once. It would be okay if I started with just a drawing of an open window and then took it from there. You don't always have to have your idea fully formed before you put the pencil to the paper. It's also okay for your ideas to change as you draw. For example, I hadn't thought about adding this hand until after I finished that banana peel and I thought, what if somebody was about to pick that up and put it in the trash? That would make the drawing more interesting. And as I draw out these ideas, I am using my sketch skills. Uh, for example, I'm overlapping the subjects, how the finger overlaps with the banana peel. I'm putting the horizon line, the back edge of the table, but then also where the floor meets the wall, even putting a little corner to the room there. I'm filling in empty areas by uh, filling in the top of the page with a chandelier and a window, bottom of the page with some little coins on the table. And there is a finished sketch. But I want to show you all one more thing. If you have time, you can add some color to a sketch using markers, colored pencils, crayons. Now when you do this, it's important to not think of your sketch as a full-on coloring book and just outline everything and color everything in, because then you're going to end up with an illustration and it's going to not really have that sketch style anymore. So you still want to work quickly. You can outline some things, but not everything. When you fill things in, make sure you fill them in with light colors. If you fill in with dark colors, it's going to cover up any details that are on top of that shape and just make it look like a big dark blob. So fill in lightly and you can also fill in incompletely. Sometimes like on the curtains, I'm just going to draw some lines. I'm not going to actually color the entire curtain in. I'm going to use the side of a crayon to lightly fill in the walls, some wood grain lines on the table. And there is a finished creative sketch with a little bit of color. Now it's your turn. Let's get to it.